Not a strong point in Chris Webber's game, however. Only shooting 53% on the year. 0 for 1 today. Make it 0 for 2. And oh. Webb didn't come down strong enough with it. Michigan right back. Well, that's a tie-up, but the arrow belongs to Michigan. Uh, you were right. Webb had an opportunity there on the missed free throw to pull it down. It would have been a big rebound for Iowa. Millard. And Webb's going to come out. And even two minutes remain. And that's going to be... I think he was going for the ball. I think he was going for the ball. What a play by Kenyon Murray. This kid's going to be a good one. This is some steal, just like winners made on the other end. He went up and took it right away from Jalen Rose, who's six foot eight, and then takes it to the hoop. I'll say Hayden Fry is sitting courtside today. He looks at that and says that's that's an all-pro defensive back kind of a move. <laughs> See ya. Two shots for Murray. And this young man really worked on his free throw shooting yesterday. Great concentration, paying off for him now. He's, he certainly is. He's six for six from the line. Now to give Iowa the five-point bulge. Now has scored more points against Michigan than any other team this season, breaking Duke's mark of 79. Still want to go down inside. Let Weber touch it. Throws in the lane. Weber gets it. Oh, oh he man. is something. You get him the ball, he, his hands are so good, Jim. It just explodes inside. That brought even the Iowa fans off the off their seats. And that kid is only 19 and the youngest of the 5-5 five is Chris Weber. Foul called, foul called against Rose, his second. I don't know if I've seen better hands in college basketball than Chris Weber has. I mean, it just, he's so powerful, so quick. James Worthy had, at that stage in his life, those kind of hands around the basket. But other than that, there have been few and far between. Sometimes when he gets it down there, you can't tell whether it's Carl Malone or Chris Weber. Yeah, that's right. One more for Barnes. He's four for five today from the line. As Talley comes in for Jackson. Michael Talley. Now, what you have is Steve Fisher trying to free up... Jalen Rose here, let Tally handle the ball, then give it to Jalen, let Jalen penetrate and go inside. Smart move by Steve Fisher. Back to a five-point lead, 119 remaining. And look at Iowa doesn't press. I thought they'd press a little bit to occupy some time. See, here's what they're going to put the ball in Tally's hands and then let Rose penetrate. Millard steps in front and makes the steal. And Weber commits the foul. Weber's fourth. Millard will shoot two. been shooting a lot of free throws in his spare time because his form is excellent. And Indiana moves out a little further in front in the Big Ten, it looks like. That gives Iowa a seven-point lead. Now Jalen Rose has got to put the ball on the floor and drive to the basket when he touches it. Three-pointer by Weber. No. Oh, underneath. And Earl will shoot too. The Big Ten 
came into the game today with four teams in the top 20. These two clubs obviously there, but when you look at this league, you got to be thinking six or seven deep, Jim, in the NCAA tournament, right? It, I'd say that's yep. about right on. I like the high end on that. Yep. 52 seconds remaining. Boy, they are putting the nails right in that coffin with these uh, free throw shooting. This excellent by Iowa. This point, if he makes the free throw, will tie him on the all-time scoring list with Don Nelson for number five at Iowa. He yeah. is tied. And that is thrown away by Sally. Well, we pointed out, Iowa, the best free throw shooting team in the Big Ten, now shooting over 70%. And they have really taken that to their advantage in this game. Looking, Bill, in for Millard. Kind of interesting, the assistant coach is really excited about Millard's performance today. They've worked with him all the time in a scout team. Well, that's the wrong guy to send to the line. Val Barnes led the Big Ten in free throw shooting last year. and He'll shoot two. Let's set the lineup tonight on CBS, a special edition of 60 Minutes. A salute to three remarkable women who have honored us with their presence on this broadcast. That's 60 Minutes tonight. And then it's Murder, she wrote, followed by the CBS Sunday movie. The Shell Seekers. You know, Jim, we keep talking about A.C. Earl, all Big Ten, but, you know, this Val Barnes starting to do some pretty exciting things in this league, coming off that big 29 points in overtime winning against Michigan State. 27 today. You saw Jawan Howard. He's, he's fouled out of this game. Iowa with a nine-point lead. flat on that one you could give him a excusing for once huh oh surprisingly he misses them both alley for three that's kenny murray again barnes in there too to grab it you don't want to get fouled here he got hit in the head yeah. to get a chance to uh, improve on that last free throw shooting effort. But Jim, your best if you just give up the ball, try not to get fouled. A little time go off the clock. And a smart play by A.C. Earl. You see where he was on that play? He stayed right under the basket His, to defend in case somebody made a steal instead of running down court. Number 55, the grad, thinking all the way. Ooh, three in a row. He's five out of nine for the day. You can see Tom Davis takes everybody off the line, has them back down in defensive position. And with an 80-plus percent free throw shooter, we assume that he's not going to be a miss, but he misses four in a row. Still time running out on the Wolverines. Open is Weber. Kenyon Murray. Murray's got the great legs. So quick off the floor. Well, Tom Davis had some big wins at Lafayette, BC, Stanford, and here, but this one's got to be, considering everything that came into this game, one of the biggest of his career. The Chevrolet players of the game. Uh, Ray Jackson from Michigan, 12 points off the bench. And Val Barnes from Iowa with 27. A check in the amount of $1,000 donated to each college's general scholarship fund. There's five straight misses from the free throw line by two of the better free throw shooters that Iowa has. Six. He had been seven for seven yeah. for the game prior to that. Rose wow. with a three. 